Over the next three videos, we're taking you along to a magical part of Australia. Where the bloody hell are ya? <laughs> where the rainforest meets the reef, where adventure and luxury come together, where beauty and nature combine around two World Heritage listed natural wonders. We're talking about tropical North Queensland. Yeah. Epic. That's all I gotta say. Incredible, exhilarating. This is one of the most unique places we've visited in Australia. We can't wait to share more over the next few weeks, but today is all about one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the must-visit attraction, the Great Barrier Reef. G'day and welcome to tropical North Queensland. And this is Palm Cove. You can completely understand why, <laughs> so we're just walking under like a mad collection of palm trees. Uh, so we pulled in really late last night. It was pitch black, so you're exploring this esplanade in this area with us for the very first time. The only thing we could hear, which you can probably hear now, was the sound of the waves. It's real nice. We're staying at a place called Reef House, which is just here. It's one of the originals, one of the most well-known resorts in this area. And our room is just up the top there, so you could hear absolutely everything. We've just had a little bit of breakfast, but we'll have to show you around here and the, the resort yeah. later on, because today, all about the Great Barrier Reef. Finally! Heading over from New Zealand, we flew into the Kens Airport and picked up a rental car so that we had the freedom to explore at our own pace, drive to the attractions, and cruise along the epic coast. The real highlight is obviously out at sea, so booking a tour is a must. Today we're taking you on the Low Isles full day tour with Sail Away. It's a cruisy day out on a luxury catamaran exploring the reef with all the gear included along with lunch, snacks and drinks. The Great Barrier Reef is beyond large, larger than you could even imagine. We're talking the largest reef system in the world, extending over 2,000 kilometres down the coastline. It is so large that it's greater in size than the UK, Holland and Switzerland combined. That means there's so much to see. There's six different types of turtles, more than 1500 types of fish and thousands of individual reefs. If you catch the right weather, a cruise out to the reef is absolute goals. We weren't so lucky weather-wise, but it was still amazing. There was about a 45 minute drive from Palm Cove up to Port Douglas and we are just at the Crystal Brook Marina now in Port Douglas about to check in for our sail away trip. <laughs> it's really amazing driving that stretch of road because it, you look off into the distance and you can see that real tropical misty rainforest and then on the right hand side it's just stunning beach and coastline. Yeah, I don't think we've been anywhere else in the world where the rainforest and the reef are so close together. Yeah, it's just like they're just swished together in this perfect <laughs> balance right here. So yeah, that's what we're doing there. Sail away, isn't it? Yes. In here. I'm assuming this way. Oh yeah, sail away. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. So, I'll just grab everyone's attention. Got to do a quick safety briefing before we leave the marina. Well, welcome aboard the vessel Sail Away 6. In case you've forgotten who we all are, my name is Kelly. At the side, we've got Caitlin, and upstairs there, we've got the wonderful skipper Blake, who's kindly going to be sailing the boat for us today. So I think that's the glass bottom boat we are about to go on. We've just pulled up now into what is the Low Isles. We're mooring up here and then we are going to be going off this main boat out there to the island. And there's a couple of monstrous fish and even there's a shark down there, two sharks. We are kitted up. How do I look? Wouldn't normally do a wetsuit, but as you can tell, our conditions, I think the rain follows us on any of these days where it's supposed to be mint and amazing and perfect to snorkel. The sun, the sun's always like, mm, mm We were told though that it's been like this most mornings this week and it has cleared up, so there is still hope. 
there is still hope. <laughs> They're doing two trips on the tender, so we're just waiting for our turn to go over, and then we're going to be doing a guided snorkel, which is awesome because the crew know all of the best spots and where all of the cool things are. But with what, over 2,000 kilometers worth of reef, oh, uh, if, knowledge they, bombs <laughs> in if they know some gems, then I'm, I'm keen to figure <laughs> I hope out. You see turtles. Yeah, if there's one goal today, turtles. Turtles. Six different species of turtles okay. under there. <laughs> Who did the research for this trip? <laughs> this Just finished up with our snorkeling. I love Beautiful. that. Beautiful, it's stunning out there. There's so much coral, so many different colors, loads of different fish. We, sh we saw a reef shark. Yeah, a reef shark. And then there was a, um, what was it, a octopus? Oh yeah, and in between the giant clam, that yeah. was cool. So there's heaps to see. It is so colorful and bright, but obviously we just don't have great visibility. So we yeah. haven't been able to show it necessarily as good as probably it looked for us as well but no turts either but we tried we definitely did try <laughs> we're on the island now and we're doing a guided tour there's a lighthouse we're learning all about the coral and sadly the bleaching that's happening but also like the wildlife on this island and you can hear them <laughs> the birds here make so many cool noises this is so unique i think we're so used to the new zealand birds yeah you know, they've got a very particular kind of tone you True. hear some of those tuis and everything but here we stop and we're like We're like that. <laughs> anyway, full adventure mode, isn't yeah. it? I love it. Thank you. Thank you for landing. How cool. Wow. <laughs> We're just talking about the birds and then they just. There's an osprey up there. What, two of them? Two ospreys and a massive nest, like the biggest bird's nest I have ever seen in my life. So they actually built a little side platform out the side of the lighthouse for the osprey to set up their nest and then what they did is just decided they wanted to just no, keep exactly where it was and put their own spot right up on the top. Wow, it looks like big massive like sticks. You know, it's not, not like no. tree shrub, it's like sticks. Full on sticks. That's awesome. So anyway, this is the Low Isles Lighthouse. She's a beaut. 1878 is when it was first built, but then in 1993 is when it became automated. It came onto solar panels. Oh, so cool. Uh, and yes, yeah, so it's kind of automated. So nobody actually lives on this island anymore, but there are ground keepers that kind of maintain it and look after it. But essentially, it's just the nesting station now for the osprey and for these birds and for this all this wild wildlife around us. Wild wildlife. We got a little bit more time to relax on the beach and explore the island and then we get back on the uh, tender and back to the boat for a lunch it's a buffet lunch apparently there's going to be seafood and all sorts of yum goodness prawns <laughs> it literally <laughs> states on the website buffet lunch with prawns <laughs> So they must be good. It's all about that seafood. <laughs> and now that we've uh, done the snorkeling and the responsible stuff, now we can be a little bit more irresponsible. There's like a little, well, not Easy. necessarily a bar, but we can get a beer, we can kick chill, back. kick back. Found ourselves a spot up here on the bow. Prawns, exceptional. <laughs> Just what we expected. So we've got a few options this afternoon. We can either chill on the boat, grab a beer and relax we can just go for a swim off the back of the boat which is where there's just reef sharks just chilling are they still there yeah, there's reef sharks yeah massive they're about well not massive about a meter long we can go out in the glass bottom boat or we can go out and check out a few little bits of coral that are out here which apparently deeper water and there might be a little bit more clarity maybe a little bit more color as well
Right, we can finally show you around now. <laughs> Right, so this is the room. This is an Ocean View King suite. And being a suite, we've got all of the things. We've got a kitchenette, we've got a living room with TV and also a dining room. And then out here is our favorite part. This is the balcony. Sorry, double aircon, which is very important here. <laughs> yeah, so true. Out here is the balcony with views out to the Coral Sea. This is probably where we'll have our coffee and stuff in the mornings. And then in through here is the master bedroom. We've got a king bed with a four poster situation, super comfy. And then in through here is the ensuite with double everything, <laughs> double vanity, everything we need. Not a double shower, but hey, no. you can't have everything. <laughs> you can't have it all. And then in terms of the rest of the resort, it's actually quite large, isn't it? Like there's a lot Huge. going on. Yeah. So over the other side, as you walk down into the pool area, is the adults only tranquility pool, but it's not the only one. And then there's yoga gear, which is included. They do daily Ta classes, or daily something classes morning, yeah. so you can join a yoga class if you like. Then there's the second smaller pool and a hot tub as well. Um, and then there's the lounge area with fishing gear to use. They've got bikes that you can cruise along the esplanade. And our new favorite thing, an yeah. honesty bar. <laughs> then obviously on the street side, there's the restaurant across from the sea, which is surrounded by these incredible massive trees. Then once you step outside, Palm Cove has a really cool vibe to it. This is a proper beach village with a beautiful beach front and that awesome esplanade to explore. Think cool little food options, more casual spots to grab a drink or a pizza to go, a few shops and cafes, along with some really luxurious resorts and more upmarket dining options as well. But we read some incredible things online about the restaurant downstairs and it's one of the originals in the area, so we wanted to check it out. We've come full circle. Back where we were for breakfast, <laughs> it's the front row seat. <laughs> we ended up sitting in the exact same spot as breakfast. <laughs> but that dinner, Amazing. Often when you come to a like a, a resort, a mm. hotel chain or whatever it is, and you go to the restaurant, the restaurant feels secondary, but that was exceptional. Yeah, the food was amazing, the flavors were great, and the presentation mm. was so beautiful. Yeah, it was, it was. So for starters, I got the scallops and pork, and it had a candied ginger and pineapple. Uh, and I had a kangaroo fillet, which had pineapple actually as well yeah. come to think but like a braised pineapple kind of thing going on and then for the main we uh, sometimes I hate it when we order the same thing but we did because it was just one we of had us to always get seafood. gets jealous as well yeah. so we have to get the same thing so we got a saltwater barramundi which is local to Queensland a coconut rice and a mild Thai red curry oh the flavors together so good thought we were done but then we got the dessert menu they always get you like that mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got uh, I had brownie Delish. Warm brownie and I got the trio of tropical sorbets. It was mango, coconut and raspberry with a little fruit salad underneath. That's obviously like the water side of the tropical North Queensland but tomorrow is more about seeing some of all of that. Maybe from above. From up top. 